Hello, this is Zoe. I just wanted to take some time to do a raw tutorial for you of using the background eraser tool, which I find the most helpful. I realize that a lot of people do different ways methods, and it's always best to choose what you'd like to do, but I thought this was a great method that I learned um, in CS4 Extended. I hope it works in other versions of Photoshop. I really am not for sure if it is included in other versions. I used to use Photoshop 6 and jumped up to CS4 and have been learning all the new tools, so hope this helps. Thanks. So here we see the background selection tool, or eraser tool, sorry, and kind of give you, you'll see up top there's all these different options to choose. Um, this is the settings that I typically use on a daily basis so you can match it up to that. Um, it's continuous, protect foreground color. I'm still learning in the process of this too, but what I found to do is you're s s with the eyedropper tool, hold down your shift key, you'll select different areas that you do not want to be erased certain shades. Typically if you have hair that's more complex with a lot of different shades you're going to need to do this in the different types of hair. If you have a simpler image this is something that you could just do basically and then go back in with the background eraser tool as you see that I'm doing here and just start erasing the background. What you will find in most of the time when it comes to more complex stuff is that it's going to erase some of the other shades that it's going to come in contact with which you can see right here when I select around it, um, is where the eyebrow or eyelid area. So we don't want that. So I undo that. What you could do is select the gray, go back in, addition to the selection that you want to erase or work around. Come back in with that, and then you have this area that's protected and the other area that you want to get rid of. So I'm going back in. This is just a quick tutorial. As I said, um, this is the first time I've ever done anything like this, so bear with me. But I just go around very quickly. As you can see, it's going to take out all the gray that I want. And you can mess with the different tolerance levels. I find that going under 50% is better for me. And then I can go back in with more detail um, and zoom in and really get the, everything if you really are that picky. Most of the time I'll see pictures that just go in with the eyedropper or go in with the quick selection tool and delete and there's still a lot of background that's left. As you can see here, this is going in closer, what I do when it comes to detail work. Zoom in a lot and then you can see how great this tool works and how quick it is to use instead of going in and cropping it or out individually or drawing it back in by hand, which I know was mentioned. So then you go in and just erase the gray that's there. Of course, I'm picking up some of the color of the shadow, so I make my tolerance go less, but I still have some of it. Again, I would do this a little more detailed if I was really doing this for a project. So come back in here. You can see I kind of actually accidentally deleted out some of the shoulder already, so it's not like this is a big of a deal, but I am a bit of a perfectionist. So this is me just kind of going through rather quickly. Again, just want to make an example. Yes, I'm being a little bit more picky. Going in, zooming in, just so I don't delete out some of the product that I want to show, which was for this project in particular was to show off the sweater. So there you go. And delete, and all the gray background that you had, gone, and you still have all the detail of the hair. So again, you'll kind of learn the ins and outs of this as you go. But I wanted to show you here just a background of white. Just see that that's all gone. You can't see any more gray. Sometimes you have to come back in and do a little more detail looking, like I'm showing here. You can see there's still some gray right in there. So again, with the background eraser tool, you just want to make sure that you're selecting that gray first. If you select the hair, the hair is what's going to disappear instead of the gray. But you can see, again, how easy this is. And once that's done, looks good. Zoom back out. Deselect. And here I'm going to show you just a different color. I'm just going to choose a quick red here. Pop that in and so you have a good crop out of your avatar and all those details like the fine hair which is the most difficult to mess with and it's it this works 
on all sorts of things. Like I said, you'll kind of learn and pick it up, but that's the end. Thanks for watching and listening. Talk to you soon.